Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're looking at the BMW 330D M Sport Shadow Edition. This has got the Auto ZF gearbox. The car has covered 20,000 miles or just over with full service history. The car is finished in sapphire black metallic. We're going to go around the car and we're going to show you uh, the spec on the car and uh, the bodywork, etc., and all the features that you get on the Shadow Edition. So the whole car has been detailed and uh, rotary polished and then polished again with a, an oscillating polishing head which sort of moves around and takes out any of the holograms that you get from machine polishing. And as you can see, you've got a really nice shine on the car. It's almost like a mirror reflection. We come in close, you can see the metallic Whoops, that's coming close to that. The metallic in the paint. Let's come back out again. Now the shadow edition, down on these uh, LED lights here, you'll notice the bottom is uh, finished in black on the inside. Now if I just come over to another car we've got over here, you'll see that they're finished in silver on the inside, that band at the bottom. So that's one of the features on the uh, shadow edition the other is the black gloss grills the kidney grills at the front and then we have although this car is in black uh of sapphire black which is a metallic color the wing mirrors are finished in gloss black which doesn't uh, stand out as much on a black car obviously but that's uh, one of the options the other is the 704 m 19 inch alloy wheels so these these are the predecessor uh, sorry these are the later wheels we had the 442s before and you can see there that we've got the m sport brakes which are finished in uh, blue and they are a bigger disc and a bigger pad so you've got stronger braking on the car as well i think they're about 370 mil something like that if we'd look down the side of this car let's we'll just show off this side of the car there's no ding dents and there's no scratches or anything. See there, the panels are all really nice. We come round to the front, all the front bumper. Now you always get some very tiny little peppering, I call it, marks. Like tiny little, almost less than a millimetre little dots. I mean, we're under really bright lights here, so everything reflects in the showroom. But uh, overall, you know, being that this is the front car and it's the bit that takes all the dust and the grit from the road, it's an exceptionally nice condition. We've got front parking sensors there as well. There's lovely LED lights. If we come up onto the bonnet, there's enough. I'm just gonna have a quick scan around with my eyes. There's nothing actually on the bonnet of any substance as a tiny, couple of tiny wincy little chips that have been touched in but so small you can hardly pick them up on the camera anyway let's come back out and give you a side profile of the car without me tripping over the cars behind okay so there you can see the side profile of the car we come round and we've got the sun protection glass at the back around the back windows the black gloss trims around the windows. Follows up all the way around. And you notice one of the additional bits of spec on this car, starting with the panoramic sunroof that we've got. We'll open that up in a bit. It's a really nice feature. We've got connective drive, which uses a camera at the top here. We've got the heads up display as well. These are all additional extras over and above on the shadow edition take you down and show you the rear wheel as well. The car's running on Bridgestone Potenzas. These are the tyres that the car come with uh, from new. Now as we come around the back here, the rear towel lights on the Shadow Edition, I mean we've got the lights on on this one at the moment, so uh, you can't really see as much, but they're smoked, so they're a darker, they're a darker lens, they're not as bright. And then we've got the rear parking sensors, 
We've got rear camera as well, that's an additional extra. Come in, just show you under there, we've got the camera up under there. See just how nice and clean this vehicle is. All of the bumper, no marks on there. And if I come down here, no marks on the bottom of the bumper either. All the lights are in lovely condition. Just try and focus on the filming for a second. And if we bring you up around the filler cap, another good area. It's very bright in here today. But no scratches. And if we open up, we've also got the Add Blue on the later models. So the Add Blue is a, an additional tank and uh, it basically has like a purified pee and uh, believe it or not the purified pee breaks up the nitrous oxide which is one of the harmful ingredients in uh, the emissions that come out of the diesel and it turns it into nitrogen and oxygen which is all safe to breathe come up onto the roof while we're here say it's very bright today let's try and turn the there we go is that a bit better a bit darker and then it goes bright again never mind and uh the rear wheel let's do this one again all in nice condition all the discs are in nice condition as well I've got the key in my back pocket. I'm just gonna see. I've got the LED lights underneath the door handles, you can see there. If we look down the side of the car, look. There's no ding dents. I mean, obviously when the cars come in sometimes, they do have the occasional little ding dent and we have them taken out with the dent man, if need be. But we don't sell them with dents. So the cars are fully prepared to be as nice as they can. And if you read through the reviews that we have online for Auto Trader, etc., you can uh, get some feedback from previous customers, etc., about the conditions of the cars. Right, so we've had a good look around the car. Let's have a look inside. So we'll start on the passenger front. So straight away, We've got black Dakota leather and we've got this lovely blue stitching, which is an option, which runs through the door card there. We've got the puddle lights underneath. And there's no damage on the door card and nothing on the edge there. No seat belts have been jammed in and it's uh, all nice and clean through here all around the rubbers on the doors or the door opening. And then we come down, we've got the BMW Max. All the carpets are really nice in there as well. And if we take a look at the black Dakota leather on the seats. And then the bolsters. And you can see we've got the Tri colours, the BMW colours, the two blues and the red there. And that stitching continues throughout the whole seat. So really nice. We have the Harman Kardon sound system. Two speakers in the door there. There's 16 speakers in total. Speakers below the seat here. Additional speakers up in front of the professional media, which is another option on this car, which it has. We'll come back to that area as we go around the car. So going into the rear, again, you can see the uh, Harman Kardon speakers there, all the door handle, no scratches on there. There we go, and we've got the puddle lights underneath. Lovely and clean down there as well. Just look up the edge of that door, look. And all the rubbers around here. 
no damage here. Sometimes you get dents and scratches where things like the seat belt buckles, you know, get jammed in the door, this piece here, and then it gets jammed and scratched on here, but there's none of that. We go inside the car, you can see the back of the seats. And if we come in close, all of the rear air vents, they're not damaged at all. Sometimes the children kick their feet on there and stuff and they can get damaged or something. When the seats are down, they can get damaged, but this is all lovely. Got the drop down center headrest there. And we've got the armrest in the middle with uh, cup holders in. All of the leather in really nice condition. I'll come around to the rear. Now, some of you may know and some may not, but the tailgate's open separately, so you can open up the glass on these tourings separately. And in fact, while we're here, look, just check out the blind. No damage on the blind, no tears, no paint. You'd be surprised what you get in some cars. And we've got the net in front, which has two allocation points, one just up here, and then there's one further forward. If I just show you up there, which is when you have the seats down, you can use, um, sorry, this will actually clip into this section here and there when the seats are down. Let's just put this uh, tailgate glass down and we'll open the boot. The boot's uh, electric, you can open it with the key fob as well. And we've got extended storage on this car as well. And I'll show you what the extended storage is. I'll just scan over the back piece here. You can see it's all in lovely condition. We've got a 12 volt socket, which is part of the storage um, pack. We've got little hooks for your carrier bags. Hooks this side, a little elasticated section here, put stuff in. And then under here, this is where you can store the blind that runs across. Got the locking wheel nut in there, etc. And then we've got some more storage underneath here. Idle place to hide Christmas presents. <laughs> And if we look at the top of the tailgate, all of the black trims, really nice condition, no damage up there. As I say, sometimes this can get scratched from people leaving stuff in the boot, but all in nice condition. Now we've got the button up here to close the boot, or we can press and hold the key fob. So if you're carrying anything out of the car, you just press and hold it and it'll close the boot for you. So coming round to the driver's side rear, just look at the shuts again on the door, or the door opening. Again, all nice and clean, all the way round. Whoops, there we go. All in the shuts there. And if we take a look at the door card, there's no damage on the door card. And the puddle lights are all working underneath. No damage on the back of the seats. We have a look at the lever again. There's no stretch marks in the lever either. Sometimes people put their child seats in and they don't put any protective covers down. It can stretch the lever. If it does stretch your lever, you can use a steamer to gently steam and shrink the lever back and that will pull the crease out as long as it's not too, uh, too stretched. But uh, that's one way of taking those creases out and just be very careful that you don't get it too hot, but uh, that was a top tip given to me by one of the uh, upholstery guys. And we've used it several times. Always seemed to work for us, so that's good. Right, driver door card. All in nice condition. I've got a little scratch, just, oh, let's get it in focus. This is on the underside, actually. You don't really see as much. It's just a very minor, thin little scratch on there. 
you get that mainly on the driver's side from keys and that but it's not it's not really that obvious but just trying to be really transparent and then we've got the folding mirrors now we need to put the ignition on for a second because we've been too long around the car so let's start it up and both the mirrors fold in now because we've got the auto dimming mirrors we also whichever side we leave the switch that changes the mirrors left and right that will turn on or off the auto dipping when you go into reverse for the near side mirror so we'll open up those mirrors again let's check out the footwell all the carpets and everything nice and clean all the leather so we've got very bright lights above us so sort of a bit of a glare there but no damage on the bolsters all the seats are in really nice condition just worth mentioning on the BMWs you have this button here this rocker button and this inflates this section the bolster either side so it'll squeeze you into the seat and hold you right trying to change which hands I've got stuff in what we'll do we'll jump in I think we'll start with the roof Let's put this key down so we've got electric blind covers the entire panoramic roof opening and then if we want to just open it at the back we can or if we want to put the roof back it will stop it's running automatically with just like a one touch and run it again there's two yeah, two, two stages it stops at, and that's it fully opened. And then we can shut it automatically, one touch as well. And then the blind separately, we'll do that one touch. Right, so down onto the front, I think we're gonna start, well, actually, let's just move the steering wheel down, excuse me. Right, there's the mileage, 20,010 miles okay now let's take a look at the heads up display let's see if we can get it so if we look the orange car the front wheel and you can just see the heads up so i'm flicking through the dab channels i press the mode button that's gone on to the uh fm we've got the speed just there as well let's see if i can zoom there we go that's a bit closer now I've got a feeling the brightness isn't turned up. So while we're at it, let's show you where the settings are. It's quite nice to know. So this is all touch screen. We can move everything around in here. Um, so if we go into my vehicle, I'll use the iDrive wheel. And I think it's the next one down. We're going to go to displays. And then we've got the heads up display. So if we turn the display off, by the way, it reverts back down to the black panel down here. So when you're using the mode button, just get it in focus here, and the roller wheel, and then you can press the center of the roller wheel to enter, and you can hear the radios on now. So let's put the heads up display back on, and it's showing you, this is all the information that you can have on the heads up display it's got speed limit information as well so it'll tell you the speed of the of the road that you're on as well it will show you your uh, navigation directions and then this is where we can adjust the brightness now i'm just going to turn that up and also we can adjust the height of the heads up display depending how high you sit in the chair and the rotation sort of left right like that so you can so you're not looking at a display that looks like it's on the tilt you can get it so it's nice and straight. So now I've turned that up. Let's check some focus. 
that's a little bit right. You can just make out on the left of where the speed, but I'm gonna straighten this out a bit. If I keep this nice and still, let me just rest this for a second. So if I swing this one way, can you see that's tilted down on the left hand side? If I pull it back up, it's straightened it up. There we go, so we'll set it there. And then if I go through, you can see all the dab channels. Now if we had the phone connected, it would have your um, last dialed numbers there as well. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Let's put the lights back on actually, let's come out. So, the sat nav. Get it in focus, there we go. So on the left hand side, we've got all the sub menus. And if you sort of hover over them to highlight them, it will show you which, uh, what, what each one does. We go down to map views. This is where you can change the, the view you're looking at. We're currently in direction of travel. Now using these buttons, in fact, let's just put this one very low down here. Using these buttons here, you can store um, your radio channels, but you can also store some of the windows on the iDrive. So if I then go back over to the left, go back into map views and look at the perspective view, looking forward, I could then save that on number eight. So for the most part of a journey, you'll probably have it on this view. And then when you come into say a city, and you've got quite a lot of roads and you're trying to calculate which road it is you turn left at, it's told you it's the third on the left or whatever. If you flip into the um, overhead, why has it done that? Okay, let's go there. I don't think I saved it, did I? There we go. So if I flip it back to perspective, there we go. And then if I now hit number seven, it flips you back into this mode, the, this view, sorry. And like I say, when you're in a build, built up area it's a lot easier using this view so what else do we have here we've got connective drive this is where we've got some of the apps this is something you can register with with BMW I think there's the, a bit of a remainder remaining time left on some of the features in here we've got weather apps the news etc you can click in here to see the news the headlines and stuff it's just loading up there concierge services that will um, you can phone through to a BMW and you can book a table at a restaurant. And as you can see here, we can look at the, the news. <laughs> I've given up looking at the news. But uh, if we come out of there, media. Now this car's got Apple CarPlay, so we've got all our DAB channels here. FM, AM, we've got online entertainment. That's uh, through BMW, so that's another area to find music. Music collection is the hard drive. There's an 80 gig hard drive on the card. Looks like there is some music in here as well. Air guitar, oh, hey. And then um, CD, Bluetooth audio, USB. And if, like I say, if we had the mobile connected over on the left here, you can see we've got Apple CarPlay as well. So this will mirror the apps on your phone and things like Waze, and um, the uh, Google Maps and stuff like that, Spotify and everything will all show on the uh, professional media window up here. Okay, so we come out of there. We go into my vehicle. This is where all the settings are. We were here earlier. You've got your driver profiles. So each key, this is the previous owner here, Stan. And uh, when you've got one key in the car, it will show you which uh, driver um, which key that is, it'll tell you which one it is. You can edit the name on there. And then all of the settings in the car, uh, from mirrors, radio settings and everything, will all be stored to that key. So if there's two of you driving the car, you can you listen to different stuff and you have different settings, on each key, you can have your own. Vehicle status, now this is where you're gonna get your tire pressures. This is your AdBlue tank, so 2,000 miles always let this run down because AdBlue has a shelf life and what you want to do is you want to use all of it up so that when you refill it it's got its full shelf life you don't want to be topping it up halfway through and mixing fresh AdBlue with uh, an AdBlue that was getting older 
So always let that run down till it gets um, to the point where it asks you to refill it. Service requirements. So in the top here, this is the service history of the car. So it had its first service in 2021 in June, and it had a full service, including brake fluid, and then engine oil is not due for another 16,000 miles or 2023. Your brake pads, 20,000 miles and 45 on the rear. So all the brake pads are all up to date. So all good in there. And uh, we've got the heated seats and the dual climate control. Trying to get the focus back on here. It's a bit gl glary today. It's the, the light coming through. Maybe it's where we've cleaned all of the skylights in the in the roof. We've got more light. But anyway, going back. So we've got the heated seats. Heated seats. Another option. Um, you know, additional to the shadow edition. They don't come with heated seats. They don't come with the professional media. You know, they come with the business now. So these are all additional extras, so really nice. In fact, let's come down onto the steering wheel because I forgot to mention we've got speed limiter here and then we've got cruise control and you adjust it with the wheel here. So if we were on limiter, let's get this in. You see the speed there and we can adjust it up. So that will limit how fast you can go. We've got the high beam assist just over here. So what that does, that uses that connected drive camera, which is up here. And when you've got the main beam on, in fact, when you press that button, the main beam will come up. And as soon as there's light coming from the cars, coming from the other direction, or you go into a lit up area, it dips the main beam for you. Let's come down onto the gear shift now. So this is the ZF gearbox, eight speed. You go back into drive, you can go over to the left for auto sport, or you can use it manually, like so, or with the paddles up here. It will always show you what gear you're in. So we're in manual mode. I flick it back to the right, it's in drive. If I flip back into the left, that's the sport automatic mode. As soon as you hit a paddle, it'll go into manual mode. Now when it is in one of the sport settings, it will stay in manual mode. So to take it out of manual mode, flip it back over to the right, or if you've got it in sport on the drive mode, flip it over to the left and right and it go back into auto. So this button down here, oh, let's put it into reverse actually. Show you that we've got the rear camera, we've got the obstacle markers, parking guidelines. When you turn the wheel, it will show you where you're gonna go, etc. There we go, nice and clear. You just see, this is actually the top that this is the back of the bumper. So you can actually see exactly how close you're getting to something. You don't have to guess. So that's really nice. Okay, so back in the drive, we can turn that off. And um, so this is the iDrive wheel. Let's just move this paperwork out of the way. So this is where we can write on the top of here. So if we're going into navigation, address input, we can either use voice control and press down and talk, or S H O R. And then you can shortcut to where you're going there. And you can use the same on the music as well for searching for music. So that's another nice feature. Got all the books in there. There is a hard drive. Uh, within the iDrive as well, which is in here. Now everything on this one is physically on the car, opposed to the book tends to show you everything that's available, whereas this will show you basically everything that's physically on the car. And there's some animations as you can see to show you how some of the features work. Just realised the heated seats are on. They're nice and hot. I'll turn those off. Right, we'll come out of there. So, just uh, take this key and we've got... To show you down here, all the condition 
Lovely and clean look. No scuff marks. USB in here. 12 volt socket, sorry, was in there. And there's another one just up under here as well. So you've got, if you've got a laptop or something you want to charge, you can do. Let's try and get. Really nice and clean. Right, that's, um, pop the bonnet. Two pulls. Jump out. And now we can just lift the bonnet. So this is our three litre twin power turbo. Essentially what that is, is a twin scroll turbo. So there are two inlets into the turbo, split from the six cylinders. So half of them will go in one side and half will go in the other. And uh, it's all done according to the timing of the ex explosion from the cylinder to create a faster flow through the turbo. Because the idea of a turbo is to speed up the airflow into the car. And uh, it helps with uh, redu reducing lag and things like that. Better for economy and much more efficient as well. All of the engine bay has been cleaned by hand. We use a lot of WD-40. I've mentioned before in the videos a nice safe product just look how nice and clean everything you know all down in here no muck no leaves how nice and clean this vehicle is and then all up round the top So that's our engine bay. It's about two, I think it's 254 or 258 brake horsepower. Loads of torque. Now you can get these remapped as well. And uh, they'll go to about 310 brake horsepower and about 640 newton meters of torque, which is about 10 more than the 335 is standard. That's if you need it, but to be honest with you, it's not, it's not short of power, that's for sure. Well, look, thank you very much for watching the video. It's a lovely clean car, this, with lovely mileage, great spec. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Please call us with any questions or finance options and warranties, etc. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.